Hi students, welcome to a video series on signals and systems. In this video, we will see the definition of systems, some examples of systems and some of the applications of signals and systems in general. Let us take the example of the human visual system. Why we need a visual system? There are images or objects in front of our eyes and we need a system to process that objects or imageries and the corresponding images will be formed in the visual cortex of our brain. Here you can consider eye and the brain together as the visual system of human beings. Even you can consider eye alone as a system which converts the visual from the world into some electrical pulses. So how it happens? Image of this apple will pass through the lens of our eye and it will reach to our retina and in the retina these light signals will be converted into electrical pulses and through the optic nerve it will be reaching to our brain and in the visual cortex the imagery is formed that's how the human visual system is working right so the basic concept here is that systems are essential to process the signals right signals have its own identity it can exist by its own but whenever we need to process or change the signals according to our requirement then we need a, a system so in general we can draw the block diagram of a signals and system like this so here this is the system so we will normally use a block to represent the system and we will write system inside that block and we will give the input signal into the system so this is known as the black box representation okay black box representation so we are more, not much concerned about what is happening inside the system we know that something is happening inside the system and the input signal is changed to the output signal normally we will use x of t to represent the input signal and y of t to represent the output signal here the input signal is coming inside the system and that is processed by the system we will get an output signal so these signals and system can be mechanical systems electrical systems biomedical system it can be of any type it should take an input signal produce some output signal that processing of the signal is happening inside the system right a system is something which takes a signal as input process it so this word is very very important process it and produce a signal as output right so what is happening here we need a signal which is given as the input we have an output signal uh, which is coming out of the system and the system will process the signal to produce the output signal so that is the definition a system is something which take a signal as the input process it and produce a signal as output so this word is very important process it and produce the signal as the output now there is another definition a system is described by the way it transforms the input signal into output signal so how a system is described what function it is doing right so the role of the system is to transform the input signal to output signal based on the system function so this word is very important system function system function so system function so this system is having a mathematical function this mathematical function will be implemented as a hardware or software or a mechanical system inside this black box and it will be able to process the input signal to produce the output signal so what is the definition the system is described by the way it transforms the input signal into an output signal how it transform the input signal into output signal so based on that also we can define or describe a system here the role of the system is to transform the input signal to output based on the system function so this word is very important transform the input signal right system is something which transform the input signal into another signal one more definition we can see so that definition is a system is an entity that manipulates right so this word is very important a system is an entity that manipulates one or more signals to accomplish a task thereby yielding new signals so this is a very good definition here what happens here so many things need to be taken care here a system is an entity so it is a hardware realization or a software realization or a mechanical realization it can be anything it is a system that manipulate the system is working on the input signal it can be one or more signal here you can have different signals like this is x1 of t this is x2 of t and there is one more signal x2 of t right so we can have more than one signal also so a system is an entity that manipulates one or more signals to accomplish a task uh, something useful must happen in this process right so we need to accomplish some task 
right otherwise there is no need of signals on system right we are trying to accomplish some task right thereby yielding new signals so in that process we will get new signals which are uh, y of t generally we mark it as y of t so that is the basic concept of signals and a system so, so an entity that manipulates one or more signals to accomplish a task and thereby yielding a new signals and this system can be realized as uh, software systems or hardware systems or mechanical system we can consider all these personal assistants like Siri Cortana Alexa Google these are examples of software systems. so what is happening here we talk something to Alexa or Cortana or Google we have our voice as the input signal and it will be processed inside right so many complicated things are happening machine learning or artificial intelligence neural network everything is used inside and it is replying to us right it's giving us an answer right so that is that is an output signal so here the signals and system is realized as a software right so only the uh, voice is taken and a voice is given back right so all the other things happening inside all the manipulation of the thing for example converting the input signal back to uh, text or converting the text to speech or everything is happening inside the software so this is an example of a software system it's a broad example right it's a broad example and coming to the hardware system there can be so many hardware systems right you would take any electronic systems or mechanical system you can have n number of infinite number of examples but for example for a simple example let us consider LDR circuit what is LDR circuit light dependent resistance circuit right light dependent resistance what happens here so in this circuit this is the LDR the functioning of LDR is like this when light falls on this LDR the resistance of this device will change and that change in the resistance will be converted into a voltage change and that will create some output in an actuator maybe sometimes a door will open sometimes the uh, lights or fan will be turned or, or turn off or some alarm will be sounding so anything can be happened right based on the light some action will happen so in this example here we can see an LED is connected this is a very simple example so the LED will glow there can be infinite number of examples I have just taken a uh, simple example right we can come back to our definition again a system is something which take a signal as the input process it and produce a signal as output right here what is happening it is taking the light signal as the input and it is creating some voltage output glowing of the LED can be considered as the output and the light signal can be considered as the input right so a system is something which takes a signal as input process it and produce an output so processing of the signal is the function of the system right now one more definition we have seen system is described by the way it transform the input signal how it transform the input signal into an output signal so that is the uh, way we define or describe a system so that is happening based on the system function so the system function is a mathematical function which can be implemented as a hardware or software or mechanical or it can be any implementation signals we have discussed in the previous video and now we have discussed about system its formal definition right so these signals and systems together have so much of applications in our real world for example consider biomedical engineering right so different kind of imaging techniques like ultrasound CT then ECG MRI then EEG EMG everything is an examples of uh, signals and system or applications of signals and system in all these applications we have some input signal we have some electronic circuits to convert that input signal into an output signal so in that process we will get information about the uh, human body or things inside the uh, human body for example some tumors so if we take CT scan of our lungs we can know how much is the rate of virus infection in the case of COVID or if we see the ECG we can see is there any variation in the ECG and if we take EEG we can see is there any problem related to brain right so all these are examples of signals and system from biomedical engineering now coming to speech signal processing so this area of speech signal processing has grown to a great extent uh, in the last decade 
for example different kinds of audio files for example CD audio files mp3 audio files then there are different kinds of files right all these things are coming under a uh, speech signal processing and uh, nowadays we are using this text to speech conversion a lot right so we will be talking something to our smartphone so smartphone will convert our text into speech basic idea happening there is related to machine learning and natural language processing but still in the initial stage of acquisition of the signals and pre-processing all these things we are using the concepts of speech signal processing and text to speech I have already explained and coming to live transcribing for example nowadays there is no need to take notes whatever we talk will be converted into uh, speech in the document even if you try captioning closed captioning of this YouTube video you can see that I have not included any closed captions in this YouTube video but you can see closed caption generated automatically by YouTube based on the Indian English accent right so this is speech signal processing application so much of speech signal processing applications are there now coming to image processing uh, here also there are so many uh, things like object identifications then increasing the quality of the image compression otherwise feature extraction so everywhere we have some applications of image processing even though uh, nowadays many of these operations are done using artificial intelligence deep learning machine learning techniques but the initial stages of pre-processing then signal acquisition then generating some signal outputs all these things are handled by signals and system concepts right now coming to communication uh, engineering we have so much of applications like how to allocate different bands to the channels in the case of wireless communication and all in the case of radar it has so much of application especially in the war fields how to detect the enemy aeroplanes or in the case of a busy airport how to detect the aeroplanes and how to adjust the timing by the air traffic controlling everywhere we are using the concept of signal sense system in the radar right and the similar way you can use the noise removal for example whenever I record this video if I have some fan voice or some external voice I can use different different software to remove that noise and make the audio of this video perfect there are so many applications related to satellite communication also now there is another important field that is uh, power systems and the power generation power transmission for improving the quality of power transmission most of the time we are using the signals and system or signal processing techniques and there are some applications for geological signal processing identifying the uh, locations of oil fields or where we can grow different kinds of crops or what is the quality of the soil at different locations all this can be done using satellite image processing so similarly we can use seismograph to measure the uh, nature of earthquake and we can predict whether there is a chance of tsunami and all and even we can predict uh, when the volcano will erupt all these things are done using signal processing techniques and there are so many applications outside the air that is astronomical and space signal processing for example uh, when we get images from the Mars or moon sometimes it will be small small pieces and we are stitching these uh, images together to create the visual environment of earth and Mars we are using signal processing techniques to create visuals of our galaxy in Hubble telescope and all and we have so much of application in satellite processing for identifying uh, different areas of the earth for example suitability of uh, uh, growing crops in a particular area for all that purpose we are using this particular satellite signal process these are all some of the applications of signals and system or signal processing but this list or this video itself is not enough to explain all the applications of signals and system because signals and system is a very mature subject and it has so many applications in different fields of engineering and different uh, real life situations I hope you got the idea thank you for patiently listening to the video